It's not the same. Hello, welcome to West Yorkshire Energy Services based in Bradford here in the UK. Big thank you to all those that subscribe to this channel and follow us on Facebook. Now, in this video, I'm going to try and uh, eliminate a couple of questions that we get regarding what different things are in and around a, a Nissan Navara engine. So this is a Nissan Navara D40 Euro 3 engine, which in the UK came out in 2005 and was in the 2006 vehicles as well. So I went in the Pathfinder, Navara and Frontera. Um, now one of the questions that I've been asked quite a lot recently because it's summer and we have a lot of overheating problems in summer that's what this particular engine came in with. This is Matty's and this engine's going back in his car today and he'll be traveling and be taking his car to Poland. Now um, one of the things that we get regularly asked is, is where is the thermostat? Well the thermostat housing is round here and it's actually connected to your lower radiator hose so your thermostat housing is here and the thermostat is in there and there's three 12 mil bolts as you can see there one two and one round there <clears throat> now it's very simple to change and it's very very simple to test the running temperature for the navara engine is 85 degrees so to test the thermostat to see whether it's opening or closing or not because that's what a thermostat does it controls the flow of the water going round your engine. So it's very easy to change, even a woman can do it. Suzanne, yeah. will, she, will you show everybody around the world how to change a the thermostat, please? So anyway, to eradicate overheating problems, all you need to do is boil the kettle, pour some hot water in the tub, and the thermostat should open with boiling hot water. If it doesn't, and it stays closed, there's your answer, you've dealt with your uh, overheating problem because the water's not been able to travel around your engine. So I'll just let you show. Nice and quick, simple, easy job to do. It's a little bit harder with the engine still in the car, but at least we can show you how to do it and where it is. There you go, one thermostat. That's the old one that we're taking out. So it's actually this bit here that opens, that bit there. So what Suzanne will do now is she'll clean that off One new thermostat. If you notice guys, it's got this here, that's got, got to go at the top, like so. One new thermostat fitted, one overheated problem, overheating problem eradicated. Now if the temperature, go, temperature go, gauge goes into the red, and you notice that you're getting bubbles in your header tank, Unfortunately, it's a little bit more serious than uh, a 12 pound thermostat. It's more than likely a cracked cylinder head. And this is what a cylinder head is. This is the top half of the engine. Yeah, so that's the cylinder head. These here are heater plugs. This here is your turbo unit. Turbo units use exhaust gases 
to put cold air back into your engine because cold air is better for ignition. Now in here, this is what you call your top timing chain cover. This is your EGR pipe. This is your crankshaft pulley. Your crankshaft pulley drives the oil pump because that's what this lower case is, an oil pump. This is a power steering tensioner. This is your auxiliary belt tensioner. This is your water pump. What pumps the water around your engine. Very rare they fail. Very, very, very rare. This is what we call your aircon housing and alternator housing, because normally your alternator would sit here and your air conditioning would sit here. Coming around the engine here, this device here is your exhaust gas recirculation unit, EGR for short. This is your throttle body, which shuts off your engine. It closes and stops air being allowed into the engine. That switches the engine off. Around here, you've got your fuel pump. And there's your fuel pump number. If you ever need to contact Denso because you've got a fuel pump issue. So there's your fuel pump number. Yeah, back at the fuel pump, suction control valves like located there. That's, that's um, basically fuel temperature sensor. That there is your brake vacuum pump for your brakes. That is an oil pressure sensor. Don't know why they bloody got one because they don't bloody work. This is your oil cooler. This is your oil filter housing with your oil filter. Coming up, this is your fuel pressure rail. These are your four fuel injectors. We call this your inlet manifold. And most importantly, that people don't know much about engines is camshaft position sensor. When diagnosing faults, it's important you know where that is. So that's your cam sensor. So, pretty much, thermostat's changed. This engine's going back in today. We fit a new clutch. New flywheel, all filters, and we'll have this running in about, in about six hours time. So, I hope we've, we've taught you a bit more again today. If you need my help and assistance with diagnoses or parts, we send parts all around the world. Uh, timing chain kits are now back in stock, so those that have ordered them, they will be going out either today or Monday. Um, all I can say is join our petition on, on Facebook, join our Nissan Snap Timing Chain Group, get Nissan to extend the warranty for the 2010 to 2015 engines. A big thank you to all those around the world that are sending nice messages, we really appreciate it. As you know, we're just a small family run business, but we like to share to help you save time and money in repairs in your Nissan Navarro or Nissan Pathfinder. So, come again, 